Hey guys, this is Nancy Perez and I'm here backstage with former Diamonds champion, Hayan. Hayan, tonight you get your final shot for the Diamonds championship against AQA. What are your thoughts on that? Nancy, do you know why they call me the Renaissance woman? It's because I'm a jack of all trades. I can do it all. I've essentially brought the Renaissance to the Road Diamonds division, let's be honest here. I've traveled the world, I've faced notable opponents, I'm experienced, seasoned even. And what does AQA bring to the table? The training drills that we do every day, the same drills I've done for years, and that crappy little gym that we used to be at. Come on, let's be serious now. She's gotten lucky. I'm not worried about that big headed rookie Okay, I look forward to tonight, and I tell you why, because I'm gonna have my hand raised high, I'm gonna be the two-time Diamonds Division champion, and she's just gonna be a little blip in history. been a fan of women's wrestling over the course of the last year, then Hyun has to be on your radar. A former Reality Wrestling Diamonds Division champion, we have seen her impressive performances at Title Match Wrestling and Reality of Wrestling's Ladies Night Out events. She has dominated this division, but there was one fly in the ointment, and it is the Diamonds Champ AQA. Diamonds Championship, Matt Topolsky is on the line. You know, you talk about New Year's, Brad Gilmore. This is the sophomore year in the young career of AQA. A rookie, she is not anymore. And these two are no strangers to each other at all. What say you? regarding a prediction in this one. Well, I'm just gonna reiterate what I said earlier. I think that Hyun needs to really look, that's exactly what she needs to do. Be aggressive early, be aggressive early. Try to take out AQA, take out her legs, take out that speed, that athleticism, the agility. What made AQA a champion to begin with? She could do that. She could regain her championship. Well, here are the contrasting styles you talk about so often that make great fights. We have AQA, who is the perennial high flyer. She loves the high-risk maneuver. She loves using that speed and agility around the ring. Hyung is a heavy hitter. She is a mat technician. She likes to isolate a body part and take it apart. She reminds me in many respects of a Rex Andrews, if you will, in how she has developed that skill and ability as part of her game. She also has one hell of a mean streak. She absolutely does. She is one of the one of the most aggressive competitors in the Diamonds Division. That's why she is was, excuse me, was the Diamonds Division champion. And now you're seeing on display that agility, that athleticism that I just referred to from AQA. That's what High Yard is going to have to stop. for the Diamonds Division Championship. We are a week away from the last stand on iPay-Per-View. Go to realityofwrestling.com to learn more details on how to purchase that event, which will include a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to see Booker T 
physically confront Rex Andrews. That confrontation will occur at the last stand. Reversal here from AQA. Oh, insecurity to the back of the head. Cover here to retain the Diamonds Division Championship early on in this matchup. Kick out at two and a half. AQA perhaps she's following your strategy a little bit and trying to end this one early too. Trying to get a TO there. Well, there are no timeouts in professional wrestling. Oh, look at that. High up, playing a little dirty. She grabbed the headband of AQA and has blinded her. Oh, well, look at that. High on doing a little bird box right there on the champion. No Cover Sandy here. Bullock. Here we go. One, two. Kick out from High on, or excuse me, from AQA. star of 2018 in the Diamonds Division. Face first, look at that top turn button. AQA now perched on that ring apron. The challenger, head of steam. Oh, she was looking for that knee. Schoolgirl through the ropes. Innovative right there. Looked like Hyun had a hand on her rope there. She did. The official could not see it. Reversal there. Hyun was going for that oh. knee. Angela with that nail arm. Right to the face. Great power. Here from Hyun. Snake eyes face first into the corner. Hyun head of steam. This time she connects wow. flush with that devastating knee to the temple. The Diamonds Division Championship hooks a leg cover here. Lateral oh, press. Wow. Oh my goodness. What a near fall, but AQA stays in it. Incredible. This is this is what I was trying to get across earlier in this match. Is this is what High Young has to do. This is what High Young needs to do. Oh! And she is being very aggressive and forced over here again. Capture the championship this time. AQA definitely slowing down as Hyun continues to inflict damage to the champion. And with every cover and every kick out by Angela, AQA, she's exerting more energy. The more energy that she uses up, the better advantage Hyun has of putting her away. Breaker used from High Young before. Looks like she's trying to soften up that shoulder a little bit right there. High Young misses the mark and into the buckle. Here comes Angela. Ducks underneath. Oh. Oh. Big sleeve blade right there, Matt Topolsky. Well, it looks like Angela may have hit her head or fell the wrong way on that sling blade right there. Right, she may be out cold. You're right, Matt Post. She hadn't moved a muscle since she hit that big sling blade on high on. Now the champ's in trouble, Matt. I mean, Angela is absolutely out cold. They may have to stop the oh, match here face oh. first in the middle of the ring. That's going to be all that. Over here, one, two, three. New champion. A turn of events here that nobody expected. Angela looks like she was severely injured in the center of the ring. At the end of that sling blade, High Young lays her out and becomes a two-time Diamonds champion. I don't know if the referee should have called a stop to that match or not, but the match went go, would continue to go. High Young took advantage. She's the new champ, man. We're going to have to get some help out here, some medical attention for Angela. She still has not moved, man. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, come on. This is completely unnecessary. You won the damn match. You won the Diamonds championship. Don't do this. Oh. She just snapped her arm at Topolsky. That's gonna, that's gonna put her on the shelf. Well, Angela was...
was out cold, a sitting duck in the middle of the ring, and now Hyun going for the other arm here. Come on, don't do this. Enough is enough. Absolutely disgraceful. I realize that Hai Young is not here to win a popularity contest, but that is not the way that you should carry yourself as a reality of wrestling champion. A disgraceful affair that we are witnessing right now, courtesy of Hai Young. Well, we need some more attention out here. We need some more referees, medical personnel. Yeah. We need to check on Hold on, we're going to hear from the new champ. You, you won the championship. What I don't understand is the vicious attack on AQA. Why did you do it? Look, Ashley, I didn't do any of that because I had to, all right? I didn't get paid extra for this. I did that to Angela, AQA, because I wanted to. The conversation has always been about AQA this, AQA that, AQA is Rookie of the Year. Yeah, she really does look like Rookie of the Year right now. The conversation is going to be about Hyon, the current two-time Diamonds Division champion. Remember that. Hyon seems real proud of herself. She is a two-time Diamonds Division champion with a disgraceful, disgraceful attack in the moments afterwards. And Angela looks to be severely, 